All right, we are moving along quick. We're almost at the end of the 30 day UI UX series. And today we are reviewing the dashboard designs from yesterday's challenges. So I think we have like five or six to review and you all design them pretty differently from each other. So there's a lot to learn from this one. So we're gonna do one more challenge. I think that's a part of this 30 day UI UX series. And I think I will we'll introduce that tomorrow. And I think it'll give you two days to complete this final challenge coming up. So hopefully you've enjoyed it so far. Check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. And Let's get started. Okay, so the first one is from Yaziki. Okay. Um, all right, so this is actually a pretty interesting design. There are some interesting parts that I decided to change. Um, you can see like there's like a, this very light container around here. Um, also, the watermarks are a little bit, uh, they're, they're too obvious. I would reduce the opacity on those as well. Um, a little bit too much white space between these menu items. They're really spread out quite far. And also, I wouldn't make, I wouldn't use this primary green color like you found up here. It's good that you used it, but we really need to make that darker. So here is my revision of that same UI. Again, hardly anything's changed except for what I had mentioned. Um, this is all solid. Um, just with these changes though, going from before here to the after state here. Very nice. So again, not many changes. Here's one. This one is good. I, l I really like it. Kind of completely changed up the UI, which is sometimes typical for a dashboard UI. Um, in order to maximize space, perhaps you wouldn't have it confined in a container, kind of like how we've been doing. Um, this will. This is really essentially a fluid layout that would really just expand 100% width of, of the browser. Um, so outside of that, looking at this, I did make some adjustments but not many. The only adjustment I made, notice how these are these panels are real close together. I spread them out just a bit, um, just so that they have room to breathe. But this is one of the best entries that we've had. Um, so there was not um, too many adjustments I needed to make. And by the way, that was from Sejoy. A, somebody's, I think, submitted almost every single one. Um, here's another one, Hawaii, <laughs> if that's how you pronounce it. So this one, um, there, there's a lot happening here um, with color. I would, I would definitely probably reduce the amount of colors, although I didn't do that in the revision, but I did make some adjustments here overall just to kind of help out um, the color. So the background color being gray like this, that's okay, but I decided to, to make it just the same color white. And instead of it being, you know, real high contrast strokes um, on every element inside, I reduced the contrast on the ones on the inside. Um, so that's definitely something you would want to adjust. Um, this area, I'm not, I'm not too much of a fan of. I think these are spread out too far. Like I would take these and move them up. All right, that's better. And then as such, you know, I might also probably remove view completion rate or view all this stuff and maybe just have an icon. Um, and then also I would probably, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm live designing and live refactoring while I uh, do this. I was trying to knock these out quick, but as I'm here, I'm just trying to make some slight adjustments to this to kind of reduce um, the amount of complexity that we had here. So very good job though. Let's continue on. All right, so this one is from Nahil, another person who's been submitting every challenge. Thank you very much. Um, but this one is 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 tricky. Um, there's simply just too much happening here. I think there's way too. I think some of the type is too small. I uh, so like for instance, right here, your courses. See where that says size ten? Way too small. You never want to go. Anything that's supposed to be legible should be no no less than 12 13 pixels you're at 10 so it's way too small especially when we, we zoom out here um, another issue and this is a big issue that's really kind of killing the overall quality of this is the panel colors your card colors being gray and on top of that mixing a shadow a drop shadow against the gray um, and what this does is it kind of washes out the design and you want to avoid this. So that's the main thing I focused on to try to really clean this design up as much as possible for my revision, even though there probably are some other revisions they would make as well. You know, there's really small things too. For instance, like this, this area, look how wide this is. You know, I would just bring this in maybe right here and then get this tidied up over here or something like that. Um, but just to show you, going back, um, here's the before 
And I only played around with the colors. Notice how much easier that is on the eyes. So the big thing that I changed here is the background color. Um, it just feels out of place. Like this would make sense if we're on, you know, like a, uh, a dark UI. Uh, but I feel like that wasn't the right choice. So I used this gray, very light gray, which will give us the ability to make everything white on the inside so it stands out. And then I took all the cards on the, the inside and instead of just making them gray, I gave them a very light one pixel stroke, a gray stroke. And really it just kind of cleans up the design as much as possible when you compare these two. The only thing I changed, like I said, is the colors of this and the panel backgrounds. And it feels like and looks like a completely different, better UI in my opinion. All right, let's try another one. This is from Donnie. Okay, so here's another one. I don't know what happened. This person did not design this. For some reason, when I imported it, it got screwed up. So let me, let me move this back over here. There we go. <laughs> so there are some issues with this. Um, there's inconsistency in the application of your stroke color. So we have black strokes all over the place. We have black strokes around these two panels, but not these panels, they're green. And so in my opinion, that doesn't quite make sense. So another thing that we have up here is this gray text, I would probably modify and make this bigger, more white space around it and on insides. So let's check a, take a look at what I did to modify this. Um, and I, I, I gave a couple different options. So really what I did is just, I kind of I tidied things up a little bit. And then here's another option where, you know, the only elements that have big, thick stroke borders is just the main container right here in the menu. And then we used borders, uh, very light, low contrast borders for this element right here. So this is kind of show you, um, you know, here's the, oh, another big thing is this. These, um, especially these labels, that would 100% would fail the WCAG uh, color contrast ratio. So use a plugin like Stark, S-T-A-R-K, contrast, um, to ensure that your type is, um, you know, contrasting enough, it's dark enough, it's not in this case. So if you take a mental sn snapshot of this and then compare it to this, this is way more readable. Um, so yeah, so that was it here for the, this round of reviews tomorrow. We're going to introduce, um, I think the final challenge that's a part of this 30 day UI UX series. And I might give people two days for this one. Um, I know it said 30 videos in 30 days. Um, I, I might actually just draw that back to 29 instead and give people an extra day. Uh, to, to do a final challenge. And don't worry, it's not gonna be something that takes forever because I, I want people to, to wanna do this, but not spend like two days having to do it. So um, this will be a fun one. The next one, hopefully you've all been enjoying this and I will see you very soon tomorrow at 10 a.m.